This is the Worm Factory 360 that I ordered. Uh, and I'm going to try worm co composting or vermicomposting inside the house uh, since it's too cold for the worms to live outside. So I'll see how this goes. The um, instructions say to break the block of core or core in a container with uh, water until it's moist to make the bedding. So I've broken it in half and I'm going to mix this up so it'll soak up the water. Okay, that didn't take long at all, about a minute or two. So the next step, it says to mix this uh, rehydrated coir with uh, some compost that I already have. Well, I don't really have any compost. That's why I got the worm factory, because I want to make my own compost. But what I did do uh, is I did, uh, I did put some uh, newspaper pots and some food scraps in one of the bins about a week ago and it's a little bit uh, it's not really composted but it's a little bit decomposed so I'm going to mix this coir with uh, the food scraps that I put in here about a week ago. The Worm Factory came with a bag of shredded newspaper and the directions say to mix the coir with this bag of newspaper. The Worm Factory also came with a bag of pumice. And the next step is to mix one cup of pumice with the rehydrated coir and the shredded newspaper. Okay, the pumice is mixed in, and this is what the bedding now looks like. Next, I'm mixing a handful of chopped up Brussels sprout stems and an apple core, and then I'm going to cover or fill the rest of the tray with a dry newspaper, shredded newspaper, which I have waiting right here. Now the shredded newspaper gets covered with three or four sheets of wet newspaper. Now you put the lid on and wait for your worms. Okay, I've received my red wiggler worms from Uncle Jim's worm farm. And they are alive and active, so they are going into the worm bin. It's been four days since I put worms in my new Worm Factory 360, so According to the directions, I need to check them, make sure the bedding is still moist, and add some more food under the wet newspaper. So here goes. Oh, this newspaper is not, it's just slightly damp. It's damp underneath. So I think I'm going to re-wet this. I'm going, this uh, shredded newspaper on top is still damp, so that's good. And you're supposed to check and make sure that the worms are in and around the food. There's one right there. Ooh, they move quickly. But it looks like they are... Yep, I see movement. I don't want to disturb them too much. Uh, four days ago when I set this up, I only had one red wiggler uh, escape from the worm bin and he was
crawling across the carpet, so I promptly picked him up and put him back in the worm bin, and no one else has come out. So evidently they like it in here. I have two cups of new food, so I'm going to go ahead and add, add this. It's a uh, cut up banana peel and carrots and coffee grounds. Uh, and I added some filtered water. Now I put the thermometer that came with the worm factory in here. The temperature in this room is about 70 degrees because we have uh, the sun shining in right now. So it's pretty warm in here. And in this bedding, the bedding is looks like about 64 degrees according to the directions uh, your the mat the optimum temperature is between 40 and 80 so 60 is just perfect now I've wet I've re-wet the newspaper to cover this with, so I'm going to put this wet newspaper on top, and I guess that keeps things nice and moist. And that's good. So I added two cups of food and covered them back up. Oops, I almost forgot. I'm going to remove the this working tray and check the base of the worm factory for any worms that have dropped through to the bottom. And I see... I see two. So I'm going to use this little uh, scraper that came with the worm factory and I'm going to put these little guys back in... back underneath. I'm trying not to hurt them, but I only saw those two, and it looks like, well, let me, this is, this black thing is supposed to be a ladder that allows them to crawl back into the working tray, and there are no other worms down here, so... I'm going to put the working tray, put this working tray back on the base. So, the first checkup is good, and I'm going to set them off in the bedroom again, set them over here where they'll have a nice cool place out of the sun, where they can keep eating. Bon appetit, my little worms.